Saturday. Um, and I didn't come up first thing in the morning because I was working on the house. Just uh, my husband had surgery Friday. So um, he normally takes care of most of the inside during the week. And I was like, well, let me just get this in order because he's incapacitated. He's healing right now. Nothing serious, by the way. It's just minor. It was surgery, but it was it's a minor thing. Anyway, he's fine. He'll be fine. Um, so I'm out here now. It's hot. <laughs> and since we're back in the flipping 90s every day, um, I have to spend 45 minutes watering before I can get started, but I'm done. I'm ready to get started. Um, and that bed behind me that has all my potato, God bless it, my brain, tomato pots, my tomato pots that are in that rectangle bed there. Um, those are coming out and I'm putting brassicas there <laughs> because I have more brassicas and I need more space. To put my brassicas in that are in the sun um so let me show you what i'm gonna put in this bed this red acre cabbage i got a bunch of it and i keep letting it dry out i keep letting it dry out and melt in the sun and then i water it and rehydrate it and i let it deflate and then i rehydrate it and then i let it deflate and it's gonna kill them <laughs> so we're getting them in the ground and that's the best place to put them so that's what's gonna happen also, I have some uh, Corda Butte cabbage. The critters love Corda Butte. They love it. It's full of holes. Um, <laughs> but what I'm trying to do is empty out all my cell trays. Um, oh, and I have some Romanesco broccoli. More broccoli. <laughs> some people call it a cauliflower, though. So. You could, you could group it with cauliflowers. Romanesco is very pretty. So, um, not sure how long I can be out here because the sun's already on every, I am sweaty and burnt. I feel burning. Okay. Well, I've already been talking three minutes. I'm so sorry about these long intros. It's crazy. Um, anyway, let me get the tomatoes moved. I'm going to move the tomato pots out. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them. I guess just anywhere. I'll just walk around them. Um, because they're about to, they're about to go banana pants again. These tomatoes have reflushed. There's new babies. Let me go, uh, get my stuff together. Let me refill my water. It's so, it's just hot. It's just so hot. I mean, today is, uh, it's September 23rd. It's hot. Just thought summer died. And somebody resuscitated. Okay, I'll be right back. It's been four minutes. It's been four minutes and 55 seconds. I just talk. But now I'm seeing my, <coughs> besides Chloe, my first monarch in a long time, and it's on the milkweed. <coughs> I wish you would shut up that dog. Okay. There's some milkweed by my compost. There's a milkweed, and there was a, oh, the monarch is still on it. The monarch is on it. Can I, I can't zoom in. Hold on. just standing here and it landed right in front of me so it is on the milkweed the monarch is on the milkweed the monarch is on the milkweed behind me yeah she's right there oh anyway there's a monarch <laughs> there's chloe let's do this thing okay let's do this thing that i came out here to do at like 12 30 and now it's like 6 5 36 i don't know it was too hot um after i filmed the intro it, i was drinking wine well so i can't talk so after i filmed the intro my skin was just on fire and i'm like you know what let's just come back this evening it's just planting some cabbages right it's just planting cabbages and i'm fascinated by that monarch it's still there on the milkweed just Oh, I love it so much. I haven't seen the monarchs in spring. I saw a few in spring. I think they were coming back from Mexico. And now that they're on their way back, I guess they just don't want to stay here. Why don't you want to stay here? There's some weird things going on underneath these pots. 
Let me show you. The weirdest thing is this mold or fungi, fungi. It's like, it's yellow and white. Interesting. I have some little, uh, little centipede things. Uh, very few weeds, very few weeds. Got some more of that cypress vine or cardinal vine. Uh, I've got a little bit of mycorrhizal fungi. And then uh, more little critters in these little holes, mainly like uh, little termite looking things. Yeah. So we have some termites and now the fire ants are taking them again. Oh my God. It's another fire ant raid on the, on the termites and it's my fault. Oh, I'm a termite killer. I am gonna pull the grass out real quick before we get started um, and then lay out my cabbages and kind of get an idea of how I wanna space them because I do wanna do three different brassicas in this bed. Um, we're gonna do along the backside closest to the tomato towers, we're gonna do the red acre cabbage. And then I think I wanna do the cauliflower next because it'll be the next biggest towards the smaller end. And then I wanna do my quarter butte cabbage along this outer edge here. Um, I think that'll look nice because the sun comes from, the sun comes from here. So if I have the lowest one here and then the next biggest and then the next biggest, I think that's what needs to happen. I've thoroughly wetted the area. It is free of weeds. It is full of fire ants. And it's time to get started. Hi, it's me again. So I have 20 red acre cabbages. 20 is not gonna fit there. So I'm gonna space these out evenly and then I'll put a couple in other places. So 20. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna try to put um, I think these get big. I'm gonna try to put a foot, a foot in between each cabbage and then the rest we'll put elsewhere. That's the plan. Okay, I used my trowel as a measure and it took eight. I would have put more than eight, but the science says put eight. So the rest of them, I'll sprinkle around. That'll be fun. So I went over to, uh, went over to, I went into the house, into my office, and I got my uh, cauliflower but I only brought eight. Since I did eight of the red acre cabbage, I'm thinking I can only do eight of the rober cauliflower. This is rober, but I may stagger. I may plant these over, but in between. So it may be less than eight that I use. Anyway, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. So I have one left over, but there's more in my office. So there'll be another bed of cauliflower somewhere. That sun is setting like, real fast. Um, next is the quarter butte cabbage. These are just babies. They didn't really get potted up much, um, but they're growing really fast in my office. These ones that I put in these cell trays are growing way faster than these sad little than these sad little ones outside that have been eaten up. So, so I'm gonna plant the ones for my office. Ooh, I'm not that I have too much wine. If I stagger back the other direction, I should be able to use 10. Did I use 10 or is it eight? Anyway, you'll see. I'm almost done. This is fun. Oh, 
holy cow, these things are taking off. Like, they want to grow. That's crazy. I'm going to tell you, last year's video, when I was doing the quarter butte cabbage, there were some similarities to this one. There were lots of roots, lots of great roots, and there were termites being taken away by fire ants. That's the day I got my clown suit from China. The one that I was wearing at the beginning of the video, the black clown suit. I suggest you go back and look at that video. I'm going to link it down below because the first five minutes are hilarious. <laughs> if I do say so. I, you know, I think I'm funny. <laughs> anyway, um. All right, there it is. How about that? That is some beautifully spaced, yet still probably very crowded brassicas. So we have red acre cabbage, we have rober cauliflower, and then we have the Corte Butte cabbage. I'm pleased, super pleased, super pleased. Um, this video did not start out as being a one thing a day, but that's what it turned into so hashtag one thing a day I planted some brassicas yeah I wanted to do other things I wanted to do more things but I got out here too late so uh, the Sun is about gone now so I think I'm gonna go in the house again <laughs> but I mean this was a great day I have no idea why I'm in such a good mood could be the wine I don't know um, but I feel absolutely goofy right now um, okay well, um, I won't ramble. I won't keep doing it. It makes for real rough editing. <laughs> so I'm going to make it easier on myself. And I'm going to tell you thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> real quick. Real quick. Um, it's like really, it's dark now. But I wanted to tell you, you know all the mycorrhizal fungi that's down here in this bed? where I just put the cabbages, like that bed had corn. Remember I put down cardboard and then I put down a bunch of like mulch and stuff. Well, that stuff that's breaking down and all that mycorrhizal fungi, all that white spidery stuff that's in the soil, that good stuff. Fun fact, brassicas do not form a mycorrhizal bond. Like a brassicas don't give a crap about your mycorrhizal fungi, whereas other plants bond with it and they need it and they thrive when you have a lot of mycorrhiza in your soil. Brassicas don't care. So fun, Chuck. Chuck, um, Chuck and I are both interested in this soil science thing. So that's a fun fact, Chuck. Just wanted to put that out there for everyone. So you don't need to add like mycorrhizal inoculant or anything to your brassicas because they don't care. Okay, okay, really, I'm gone now, bye.